Hey guys, in this video I want to do a quick little benchmark test of uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 here. And uh, this is uh, running the uh, latest version of the Android 5.0 Lollipop. So I just installed the update yesterday. So uh, if you want to install it right now manually, then you can check out my channel. I have a full easy tutorial for you guys. And uh, you can see that this is... Android version 5.0. Now this is only for the N9005 uh, quad-core Snapdragon 800 model. You can see that we have that new uh, multitasking, of course. Uh, so let's quickly uh, do the benchmark here with the Geekbench 3. I will not do the Antutu benchmark because uh, there's some kind of a problem with this Antutu benchmark. I'm not sure. Uh, I tested out and uh, it, uh, you know, caused a bug and my device was not turning on and you know practically my device was uh, irresponsive uh, and I was uh, kept uh, pressing this uh, I was keep pressing this power button to turn it on but uh, the device was not responding uh, so uh, do not run the Intuitive Benchmark app uh, but uh, I tested out the Geekbench 3 so it is uh, working good so I will test out again so you can see the details here. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 uh, version 5.0 Android here. Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, 2.27 GHz, almost 2.3. Then also we have 2.77 uh, GB RAM available, 3 GB. So uh, we will be checking out the benchmark here full. So the Geekbench uh, is also. Uh, extremely great benchmark app, but and to do is a little bit better. We test out everything, you know, 3D and uh, 2D performance, some internal SD card test, but uh, still that is not optimized at the moment, so I don't want to mess up with my Note 3. So you can see that Geekbench 3 is a faster way to, uh, you know, test your phone than and to do, and to do takes a lot of time. Uh, While well, this one just takes a little bit of time here, so so I'll be doing some more uh, videos on Note 3. So if you want to watch some specific videos, uh, do let me know in the comment section down below. So we are done, almost 95 percent. Okay, so we got the score of 2,940. The last time I tested out, I got a score of 2,800 something. If I show you the uh, score here, so single core score is 915 as compared to the Galaxy S5 Snapdragon 1 is very close. Then all the other devices, Note 10.1, Nexus 10, LG Nexus 5 with the Snapdragon 800 have less score, of course. You can see these devices. So. Uh, Note 3, impressive, close to the Galaxy S5, not that bad. And if we talk about the multi-core score, we have 2,940, which is above the Galaxy S5, 2,836. I'm not sure that if this is a correct score or not, because my S5 scores above 3,000. So, I'm not sure what to say at the moment, but uh, this is not the true score of the S5. Uh, my S5 scores above uh, 3000 I'm pretty sure I've tested out a, a full benchmark video you can check out my channel but um, anyways uh, this is the benchmark here I'm very much satisfied with performance of course it's very smooth people are asking me how the lollipop is you know if NFC and everything is working or not everything is working this is the official one um, official uh, lollipop uh, version for the Nord 3 so you're probably going to be uh, going to hit your device via uh, over the air, uh, but if you are uh, like me and you can't wait, uh, you can just install it manually, just with my channel. So I'll see you next one. Peace out.